Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, bacon has been in the news lately, and sometimes some of it's not flattering, and some of it's like about being overweight, and some of it's about a flu, and you know, it all goes together. Bacon is a treat, and you know, we, we shouldn't eat a lot of it, but I do. I love it on a buffet. You gotta hold me back. And I know it's bad for me, but you know, it's like candy, and it's addicting. And speaking of candy, did you know you can make candy out of bacon? That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. It's my Morning Surprise Candy Bacon. It's super simple, it's pecan coated, has a hint of coffee to it, and it's nice and crispy, and it has an, a, a caramel flavor too that just can't be beat, and it's bacon. That, that can't be beat either. I'm going to show you how to make it up next on Cooking with Jolene. I'll be right back. You'll need the following ingredients to make my morning surprise, candy bacon. One package of thick sliced bacon, instant coffee, chopped pecans, one fourth cup brown sugar, one teaspoon flour, a broiler pan. Here's how you put it together. Welcome back. Making my candy bacon is super simple, and today I'm using a secret ingredient, and that is instant coffee and I took this from the last motel I stayed at and you know they have it right there on the vanity there and you're going to use this as a little kicker to it and it's going to add a nice little coffee flavor uh, to it. But what you're going to do is take your broiler pan and you're going to spread out the bacon pieces. In a bowl take the one third cup chopped nuts, the one fourth cup brown sugar, and the teaspoon of flour. And mix that all around. Now, depending on how much you like the coffee flavor, you can add about a teaspoon or a little bit more. Now, you're gonna put this on top of each of the bacon slices. Make sure you get a nice coating on each one of them. Now we're going to pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Be careful and watch it and make sure that they turn a nice crispy golden brown. Set your timer. When the bacon comes out of the oven, you're going to make sure that it stays nice and flat on some paper towels so it'll drain and cool. piece of my candy bacon here and you know some people like to drizzle it with a little white chocolate or, or the regular chocolate but I like it as is. It's gotten real crispy and you can crumble it up and add it to the top of ice cream that's real good too but it's sweet because it has the brown sugar and it has the kick of the coffee the, the granulated coffee crystals that you added that you can rip off at a motel somewhere I mean they're, they're free just right there on the vanity but it's super simple to make, and bacon is the end thing in uh, these days, and you can have a chance to make this for your friends at the next party or potluck. I can't wait to try it. Mmm, I taste the nuttiness and the caramel, and wow, this is really good, and bacon, you just can't beat it. Tune in next time where I'll show you some more cheap and easy budget tips and tricks and treats 
and be sure to subscribe. Visit me on the web at JoleneSugarbaker.com. I love you, and I'll see you real soon. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.